Morning, it's PCR FM. There's Lewis Capaldi, Bobby Brown in a moment. We team up with Peter for Positive every single Monday. They're the city's business improvement district and we do interviews with various city centre businesses. Today, it's the Salvation Army charity shop and I went along there and met Will, who runs the place. Hi, Kev. How's things going? Good, good, good. Now, I've been in this store before and I've always yeah. been blown away by just how big it is. I mean, you're I on know. two floors. How would you sum up, for people listening, what this store is? So, we describe ourselves as a two-floor superstore. Um, nice little in-joke. So, yes, we have two floors. We stand at the front of the shop on the Saturday and we point to the staircase. We do have a lift for those that can't make it. Downstairs, normal charity shop, regular sort of stuff. Upstairs, more of your craft, unusual, vintage, retro, that sort of stuff. And it's very much, as well as a charity store, a community hub. It really is. Uh, Closing the title on the front of the shop, we are a community hub. We have a local information board. Any charities, events or anything group going on, we're happy to take their information. We don't put anything in the window, but we always have the information. Key staff will always be happy to talk about that, whether it's food banks, groups, organisations, and and natters, that sort of thing. And all the money that you raise... Yeah. What impact does that have in our community? You know, where does the money go? So in the actual community, so we help with anti-trafficking, debt advice, homeless advice, in the actual Peterborough Centre itself. So down at the Citadel on on Borges Boulevard, Lincoln Road, you've got the drop-in showers, you've got two food banks, community hubs, anti-trafficking, dementia care, so many daily things going on, and the money raised from here, it goes to there and helps that, as well as everything else in East Anglia. So that's going to have a really meaningful impact on a lot of people. It really is. So when we say it's your community, it really is your community which is why we're lucky we get great donations when you arrived you said there were so many things visually to look at yeah that's because we get so much great stuff come in because we can actually show people where their money goes now your team is important and i've been looking around as as i came into the store yeah they're all busy chatting to people yeah volunteers who come to stores like this charity shops like this yeah are so important they really are uh, every charity up and down the high street uh, your volunteers is your key. They're your hub, they're your shop window. And whether they've got a skill, whether they like to work on the shop floor, the till, I have some volunteers here, uh, elderly, come in, sit down, and they just talk to people. And they know they're here on certain days. Uh, latest person is Winnie. She's n- going to be 93 years young this year. She does two hours on a Thursday afternoon with a cup and a biscuit, and she'll sit in our craft corner. And what she doesn't know about crafting, and I've now got regular people coming in that will learn off her. I want to meet Winnie! I know, she's amazing. She's in on a Thursday. She's here on a Thursday afternoon oh, but you have that. key people so you have all different types of volunteering roles um, but then that will also help you so um, if you want to think about the Duke of Edinburgh award helping people with that sort of stuff so giving them life skills something they have to do but it's also going to take it away add to their CV um, we've just recently ta- taken on board people where English is not their first language so they're basically just using us as a springboard we're happy with that they're with us for two or three months a couple of hours a week and it's just giving them their life skills and they're volunteering their time and helping you but exactly. at the same time they're learning they're getting something English. for themselves you mentioned Duke of Edinburgh. I, yes. I remember doing Duke of Edinburgh when yes. I was little. A, a brilliant scheme. So, is. is this charity store a champion of Duke, Duke of Edinburgh really locally? Is. I mean, this will be our eighth year of doing that. We did it when we had our little shop down at Broadway. It was difficult. We had to res- uh, restrict to one person. But now, obviously, being two floor superstore, especially on a Saturday, we can have three or four different Duke of Edinburghs. With a bronze scheme, they have to do one hour every weekend. We say do two hours twice a week. That way they get a weekend back. But then when you're at the store for two hours, you learn more. Their social skills, they go from looking at their feet to engaging, smiling, being more positive. I want to ask you about your window displays, yeah. Will. Anyone that walks through Peterborough City Centre, Long Causeway, you will have stopped and looked in at the windows of the Salvation Army store Mm. because inside those window displays, there's always something pretty special. We always try and do something special, Um, especially if there's an event or anything. um, You had Peterborough uh, Strong Person event the other weekend, so we did complete Keep Fit windows um, over the years when there was the Heritage Festival, Steampunk Festivals. We'll always try and tap in and help promote um we've had dinosaur windows for the cathedral Love out it. of the galaxy yeah. that sort of thing we did have a shark window that lasted about two days because we just ran out of <laughs> donated stuff <laughs> everything nearly everything you see here is donations so if somebody comes in and says have you got this I say no but give it a minute pop back 
we never know. Yeah. Now we're nearing the time when Poppis will be on sale. Yes. The big link with the Salvation Army. W- what do you do in the windows at that time? Um, so we always try and have a stop and think window. It's not so much about promotion, uh, sales, anything like that. Over the years we've had, when we were at the Broadway, we had our little um, shop window where we'd put everyone's name that sadly passed away in World War One, And we'd stayed two or three nights, printed everything out, and made it onto national news with that one. But then it's more about remembrance and reflections yeah. we're very lucky we've had hand knitted poppies made for us where we give out the wool for free and knitting patterns for free we've got thousands and then we'll raise that uh, last year because i actually volunteer for the uh, british legion as well we were lucky in that one week we raised i think it was 452 pounds in just one week just from that from the sales of all that stuff we'll go to them and remembrance generally important for so many people and i yep. understand that you've got quite an interesting thing to tell us about regarding Peterborough people that went off to war in years gone by and never came back. Yeah, that's true. So, uh, Mr Moore, who's sadly no longer with us, he was chairman of Peterborough Veterans Society. That's the Independent Veterans Society. This is all his hard work. It took him many years to do a folder um, just to come up with all the names that had passed away, didn't make it home during World War One, World War Two, that will tell you where they signed up, where their name is on the memorial grave, whether it's in Peterborough or in one of the uh, national cemeteries. And just to finish, I know that towards the end of September, you've got, is it Sustainable Fashion Week coming yes, up? Yes, we have, uh, where we challenge people to upcycle, reuse, maybe make themselves like yourself, nice smart pair of jeans, trousers, hoodie, barber, <laughs> all that sort of thing you can get in a charity shop. Yeah. Um, where we here, we anti back steam everything, so nearly everything is ready to go. So if you come in and you need a change of outfit, and we challenge, look good, look trendy, and just don't pay £100 for your barber hoodie, you probably just spent 10 15 pounds and then that money you know where it's going so you're going to look cool you're going to look good and you've helped the community i like the phrase pre-loved yes yeah that's an amazing thing there's someone else has loved it now you can love it exactly uh, yeah but at such the less price and then it's not going to a nameless thing it's going back into the area will from the salvation army Two floor superstore <laughs> on Long Causeway. Great to see you again, It'd be mate. Great to pop in. We're open every day apart from Sunday, nine till five. Be sure to come in and say hi. Thanks, Will. Thanks, Ken. Take care.